Oh, right, OK. Do we put them in the, in the, in the other net there? Absolutely. Yeah. Ah. Look at this, look at this. Ah! That is a very, very strange sensation. Very strange, and it's looking me right in the eye. Ah! Can you take me through exactly what happened? I was in the midst of a 129-mile swim of the entire length of the lake. Most of the days were relatively uneventful. It's the same old thing. That day, I'd been swimming for two or three hours already. The very first thing felt a lot like when your mobile phone's in your pocket and it vibrates. And the next thing I thought was that I'd caught on something. Sometimes it's a plant. But what plant could catch him in a 100 foot of water? So I reached down to brush whatever it was on my leg off. And I touched a living thing that was attached to me. There was uh, something uh, thicker than my wrist around that was moving like this. That I just had a bit of a freak out. I don't, because it, what, the next image that I saw when I put my goggles in was snake-like. I made another try to grab it, and it slimed right out of my hand. So this thing that's on your leg, it's writhing around, what was it? It turned out to be a, about three and a half, four foot long sea lamprey. Sea lampreys are survivors from the depths of time. Like aquatic vampires, the adults are blood parasites that attach to other fish to feed when in the ocean, but they head into freshwater to spawn. Their mouths are made up of a powerful suction disc lined with rows of needle-sharp teeth. In the center lies the ultimate weapon, a piston-like tongue tipped with rasping plates which bores its way into its host. Once attached, it may feed for hours, days, or even weeks, growing fat on its prey's blood. I ended up pulling it off, and the first time I pull it off, it shot back on. They don't want to be removed. So I got a hold of the thing finally, and I managed to throw it. So I remember seeing it like in the air, like a snake flailing around and go fall. This thing, it, it somehow just short-circuited your rational response in a way? You know, I've been caught in lightning storms. I've swum through nuclear waste. I've been run over by boats. This is the thing that got to me the most. They're extremely fast, extremely aggressive. They're very hard to fight. They're very difficult to kill. And they want your blood and nutrients. I think we're going to go in, try to get a good foothold so we're, you don't get flushed over the edge, and we're just going to start reaching down, feeling. You're not going to be able to see, and there's a lot of water coming over today. Around 20,000 cubic feet per second. way to prise them off is to get right behind their mouths, but they're in a very deep crevice. And there it is. This is a real first for me. This is a fish that can't be caught on a bait, on a rod and line. And there are the three fans. But one fish doesn't make a feast. That's better, that's better. Just as I've mastered my technique, I feel something hit me. Dozens of lampreys are flying out of the falls. The fish have all spooked from this hole, so we've got to go into the even wilder water here. Oh. Can't really see, there's so much water. Behind the torrents, lampreys are suckering their way up the 40-foot rock face to the river above. This is my last chance to seize these writhing vampires.
going to bag at least 30. Peter finally says, we have enough. Oh! Ah! I think I just shot on something. Oh, 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 there's, there's, there's a lot around the intake. A lot around there. Ah, I can just feel it's, it's soft. Ah. There you go. Oh, yeah. I've just got a knot of lampreys in here. And they, gosh, they, 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 oh. It's quite a sight, it's quite, it's, there's something about anything snake-like, it just produces that sort of instinctive, squirmy reaction. Um, I, I really don't know if I want to handle these. Ah. Right, here we go. Oh, look, there's one attached to another one there. That's wriggling. I'm... Right, OK. Yeah. Oh, right, OK. Do we put them in the, in the, in the other net there? Absolutely. Yeah. Ah. Look at this, look at this. Ah! That is a very, very strange sensation. Very strange, and it's looking me right in the eye. Ah, that's a good way to good, that's a good way to calm them down. But I now need to get it off and get it in the Oh look at that, it's actually oh I've been bitten by fish before, but I mean that was pretty creepy. Ah, this one something went, just went through my legs. Ah, ah. Using their mucus coating and boneless flexibility, these primitive bloodsuckers find it easy to outmaneuver me. Now I'm going face to face, fang to vein, with a real living vampire. And that's a strange feeling. That's a very strange feeling. It's, uh, there's suction, but there's something sharp going on as well. Ah, it's really getting stuck in there. Oh. The thing is, if you get these things attached, you're actually going to want to get them off. If you're swimming, you're needing your limbs to keep you afloat, to keep you moving. So what are you going to do? You've got these creatures attaching to you. Do I carry on swimming with maybe more and more attaching, or do I stop swimming, try and get these things off? Ah, easier said than done. Ah, ah, come on. That is hard to get off. That is hard. That is hard to get off. Ah, ah. I don't know if there's a mark there or not. Hopefully there's not a big red hole. That feels a bit sore. I mean, these things are like aquatic vampires. I don't think that's an experience I want to repeat. Yeah. I think I've seen and felt enough.